Hello everyone. Welcome to the video review of the Hint Shrink Tubing uh, 3 to 1 ratio with glue inside. There are seven different sizes. Uh, each piece is 1.75 inches long. Um, the red and black, there's uh, the same size in each color. Um, there's two of these big red ones and two of the same sizes in black that are down there. So there's equal parts um, in the red sizes as there are to the black. So I'm gonna demonstrate uh, how these are used or one of the ways they could be used. So I'm gonna connect these two pieces of wire and I wanna do it so they it is a waterproof connection. So I could probably get away with just using one of these um, pieces of heat shrink, but I'm gonna use two just for demonstration purposes. So you have the wires already cut and stripped down a little bit. I'm gonna put on a piece of uh, red heat shrink on one side and black on the other. And then here is a, this is a non-waterproof butt connector. I'm gonna slide that on there. I'm gonna use my wire crimpers. And I'm gonna put a crimp on that. And then the other side is going to go in there. And it's called a butt connector because they're butted together. All right. So those aren't going anywhere. Those are connected very well. But again, that's not waterproof. Water could get inside that connector because this is not a heat shrink connector. But these pieces of heat shrink are going to make this a waterproof connection. So first I'm just going to do uh, the red one and this is going to be loud. This is a heat gun. I'm going to shrink the tubing down. I should be wearing gloves because this is going to be a little warm, but I'm going to place that other one down inside there if I can. And then I'm going to heat shrink that. So that is now a definite waterproof connection. But if I wasn't happy, say, with that little part right there where it kind of got smushed, if I really wanted to, I could grab another one. I'll go the next size up. Put it over the middle of both of those. All right, so these heat shrink tubings, they are, they're not just the average ones. They have a glue liner on the inside. So when you heat it up, it not only shrinks to hold and compress down onto the items, it also uh, makes the glue melt and holds onto the wire even better and it makes a, a waterproof seal. So this is still pretty warm to the touch, but that is a strong connection. 100% waterproof and heat resistant. So just so you see how tightly it does wrap around um, something, 
I'm going to demonstrate with a, a threaded bolt here and get one that fits on there. Okay, so when I get this um, heated up, it's gonna shrink down and you should be able to see the teeth in there. I mean, it, this stuff is kind of thick because it's two layers, the outer shrink uh, tubing and then the inner glue layer, but you'll see how tightly this actually grabs onto that, uh, onto those threads. Okay, I'm not sure if you could see, I think you can, but you can actually see the thread marks um, through this shrink tubing. So it constricts that much and that tightly onto the wires or frayed end of a rope, if that's what you wanna use it on, it works great for that. Um, shoelaces, if you have a, a frayed end and you need to, um, and, you, and you have a hard time lacing your shoes, you could uh, cut off the end or just twist it up and put one of these on there and then apply some heat carefully and it'll constrict it and get glued on there so you could thread your shoelaces on again or through the uh, eyelets. Anyway, very, very handy, very useful, and there's no reason to not get the ones that have glue as opposed to the ones that uh, don't. These just work a lot better and they're a lot stronger and provide a more waterproof connection. Hope you liked the video and hopefully you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.